Hello friends, today we are going to review a room EOSP extended version 6.0 based on Android Pie which is my favorite OS. So let's start the video. Uh, so I have uh, installed a new room EOSP extended room version 6.0 for Redmi Note 5. Let's press the start button. set up as fresh new or verify your account okay I'll skip this This is the uh, home screen of uh, an EOSP extended Pyro. So let's see what else we have in this. This is the Google Now homepage. Okay, let's check the app drawer. <clears throat> we have a calculator, calendar, a camera app, a basic camera app. Let's check the video. What else we have? We have an inbuilt FM radio, um, inbuilt messaging app, inbuilt phone app. This is the Android Pie recent menu. Roam is fine. It has a ton lot of customizations. Uh, this is Bluetooth, okay. Torch is working. This is the battery saver option. We have this. This is the uh, extra options we get in this USB extensions extended ROM. This is called an Android uh, uh, USB extensions. <coughs> this is the status bar customizations. We can set status bar items. Airplane mode, alarm, Bluetooth, cast, Ethernet, headset, hotspot, Wi-Fi, VPN. These are the all the icons I can show on my status bar. Now this is the status bar battery style. Let us see. Okay, if I say battery percentage next to the icon, oh, it is like that. If I say inside the icon, okay, it is like that. That's fine. Okay, I'll prefer this. Battery status bar battery style. Portrait, okay, this is portrait. This is the circle mode. This is the text mode. This is the hidden mode. Okay, I'll have the portrait mode. Let's go back. These are the traffic indicators. It will show you the upload and the download speed in your uh, mobile data. And we have miscellaneous extensions. We have 4G icon. Okay, it is not showing. Okay, just uh, in the gestures, if you double tap this uh, status bar, it will go to sleep. Yeah. See, this is the ambient display screen. Fine. Then what we have, clock settings. Okay, we can move the clock, say, to the center. It is in the center. Right. It goes into the right, then left. This is the default setting. We can use show the seconds also. You see, date. You can use small font, normal font. These are the normal font. You can change the date style. 
date format okay these are all the status bar customizations then what we have is notifications panel in this we have quick settings these are the quick settings toggles what we can have a brightness slider yeah we have a brightness slider is it working let's check yeah it is working brightness slider on the bottom okay i'll do that okay it has placed the bot uh, brightness slider in the bottom <clears throat> quick pull down all right okay i'll do that oh yes the animations are very smooth just see off and you have a smart pull down let's check what is it on okay it will only show this no notifications okay it will show the notifications this is a good feature okay we have a we have the quick settings panel opacity we can change that let us see oh yes it has a transparent mode okay this looks fine let us see what else we have in the notifications we can change the heads up notifications okay here we have a battery charging light we can change the colors we can put any color see it was red now it is blue this is good next we have the option of customizing the navigation bar it says allow navigation bar if i put down okay it has gone into the full screen nav bar tuner compact left leaning right leaning this is normal compact okay i can change the uh, position of these icons okay i'll change the left uh, back button here and overview button there yeah this is nice then we we have a customization of the recents menu recents user interface okay pie style or the oreo style for that you have to restart the system user interface now okay i'll say okay okay this is the oreo style uh, recent panel whatever you like if you are not uh, used to the pie uh, recent panel this is a nice option then in the lock screen we have some customizations okay next we have the system settings general tweaks the buttons you can change the power button power menu options screenshot you can add oh this is added you can add flashlight it is added okay you can add all these options This is the Android Pie battery manager. Let us see what else we have in this room. The gestures, swipe up to home, 
okay i've done that let us see if it's working yeah <coughs> gestures are working very smooth animations are smooth you can enable full gesture mode i'll show you now see it doesn't it it will it does not have that back button okay let us see what else we have we have the default browser that is the via browser I'll show you the gaming performance on this ROM. These are the default wallpapers. AEX papers. Nice papers by the uh, developers. Rome is fine, super smooth, buttery smooth. I let you know the battery life after a day of use. App opening speed is very good. Okay, this is the default lock screen. What you get in the right, you have a camera. Okay, let us see what apps we get in the, by default. We have a retro music player. This is the default music player. There is one by default recorder. You can record the screen. Click allow. Now it will record the screen. It is recording the screen now pause see this is the screen screen recorder inbuilt screen recorder okay i'll delete that there is an inbuilt sound recorder there is an inbuilt call recorder also This is the by default gallery app. These are the wallpapers, pixel wallpapers I have already downloaded in my SD card. If you want, I'll provide you the link. These are the uh, stills of that wallpaper. You can get the live wallpapers also. Let's check the gaming performance on this room. 
I'll play PUBG on this mobile and let you know the gaming performance. It does not work on HD or Ultra HD mode, but you can play the game on balanced mode with the medium frame rate or smooth mode, smooth mode with the high frame rate. I must say the performance is very good. Okay, please give me any suggestions in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and like my video.